Hey, I'm Midja, and I've got to admit, I'm not a huge cricket fan, but I would have to be living under a rock if I hadn't heard about the ball tampering scandal and the impact that this has had on Australian cricket. And without getting into the details of that specific situation, I think it's a timely reminder for all of us as leaders to step back and to think about how we respond and how we react when we stuff up, when we make a mistake. And you know what? Our mistakes may not be on the world stage. We may not may have our mistake on camera and televised around the globe. We may not have to step up to the Australian press gallery and explain it, but our mistakes do have consequences and they have an impact on our organisation, on the people that we lead and on our clients. So often when we make a mistake, when things don't go our way, we can step into our bedtime stories and bedtime story stands for blame, excuses and denial. So firstly, we can go into blame. Greatest game on earth, the blame game. So it was a CEO. It was a board decision. My team members, the admin staff, my partner, anyone and anything except for ourselves. So we just throw people under the bus, really to protect ourselves. Or we can come up with excuses. So we can have a million and one excuses why things didn't go our way. And a mentor once said to me, you either have one of two things in your life. You either have the results you want in your life or a million reasons why you don't have the results you want in your life. And I think it was pretty good advice. So we can have so many excuses and often in leadership positions, we can blame a lack of resources. We didn't have enough people or enough time or enough money to get the job done right. And finally, we can just go into denial and say, well, uh, pretend it didn't happen at all. Sweep it all under the carpet and just move on like nothing happened. And these bedtime stories come out when we feel under threat and when we feel out of control and they're almost instinctive. So how do we stop these bedtime stories and instead take ownership and accountability of our mistakes? Well, firstly, I think we need to create some space between what happened and the mistake, the stuff up and how we respond to it. And then within that space, we need to take a really good look at ourselves and to ask what went wrong, what happened here and what did I learn from this? And then next, we need to own it and take accountability for it and apologize. As we've seen Steve Smith do in the Australian cricket team. And then finally, we need to put into place particular processes or change the way we do things so that we can eliminate the risk of this same mistake happening again. I am, I can, I'm Midja. Bye, guys.